Hello there, it's Derek again and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some best Android apps you can download on your phones and enjoy it in your daily lives. So if you're new here, just give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and without further ado, let's just dive into the video. So the first app we have on the list is called Black Screen. So Black Screen is one of the applications I think everyone is going to like and with this app, you are entitled to just play YouTube videos while your phone screen is locked. Sometimes you might be wanting to just listen to podcast or maybe a playlist you have on YouTube which you normally listen and with your screen being on every time whilst the video plays it's actually going to drain your battery and then make your phone die very quickly this app is actually here to help you and this is how the app works first of all when you get into the app you are going to be asked to turn on this toggle right here and when you want to turn on this toggle i'll just urge you to just turn on these ones right here so that you are going to be able to just get a lock in front of your phone screen so that you're going to be able to just tap it when you just want to wake your phone up whilst you are on youtube so you turn on this black screen like this and then you swipe up and then you go to youtube to open any video you feel like you want to open and then you play it and you can just turn off the screen while your video still plays but the only catch is the youtube app still needs to be open so i'm going to try this video right here let me just go to my channel and then we check out a video i have right here in case you want to check it out you can check it out and at this space color very cool so i'm going to turn this video down like this and then we check it out so let's say the video is playing this way and i want to just turn off my screen immediately i want to turn off my screen this is what i'll do i'll tap on the lock on my screen like this and my phone is going to turn off whilst the video still play so in case you want to just wake the phone up and then see if your video is still playing you tap on your screen once and then you can see your video playing and that is basically very cool so you can just tap in and out and that is basically very cool so this app is one application i think is going to be very helpful for people who normally listen to preaching on youtube and also who listen to a lot of playlists or podcasts on youtube you can just get this application and then play whilst you work in your kitchen or in your working space at home and that is pretty much very cool so let's check out the next app we have in line so the next app on today's list is called panels so with panels you're entitled to get a side menu on your phone right here some phones don't come with a side menu and people probably might think they can't reach the top of their screens and they want to just put some side menu right here this app is actually going to help you to get that thing and that is pretty much very cool so what you need to do is you need to go into the app and then what you just have to do here is you tap on activate right here and then you are good everything is going to be turned on right here and right now when you check out my phone right here you can see i have an edge right here and i can swipe up like this and it's going to bring some applications you can even press hold and then add some applications you feel like you want to add and it's pretty much very cool so let's say i want to add an application i tap on it and then i tap on let's say docs and then it's going to be added here i want to add more i tap on it and then i probably add tap on applications again and then i add camera and that is basically very cool you can move on to just swipe again and then you're going to get all your menu right here and then you swipe again too and then you can press hold to give the other widgets right here and that is also very one nifty thing so let's say you want to add youtube music right here you tap on it like this and you're going to scroll through to check on the widget you feel like you want and then you press hold and then you're going to drop your widgets right here you can still press hold on the widget and then you can drag it to fill the whole screen of your app right here and that is basically very cool so that is one of the nifty features i've seen so far on this application too and i think it's very great after you are done you press any side of the screen and then you are good so when you swipe the first you're going to get your apps you swipe again you're going to get your apps and you can even scroll through to get all your apps you have on your phone and you are still going to be able to just operate them right here too you swipe the last and you're going to get your youtube widgets you added on the screen so this is an application i think everyone should try and in case it's helpful just like it up and let's check out the next application so when Android 12 was released last year, Google actually allowed us to take long screenshots and some phones cannot be updated to Android 12 and that means they are going to mess out with this feature right here. And even with the Android 12, it got to a time I think Google Chrome was not allowing us to get a long screenshot until recent updates and that allowed us. But with this app right here, it's going to be able to help you to just get a longer screenshot which is even massively longer than the Android 12 screenshots and that is pretty much very cool. So when you enter the application, what you need to do is you tap on this green right here and then you're going to turn on the app right away. So when you turn on the app right away, you're going to see this shutter sign right here and what you need to do is you need to go to the website you feel like you want to open. So let's say I want to open a website like say apple.com. 
and then I'm gonna have a very long page which I need to read or something you can see this page right here I can just screenshot the whole screen without even having any stress or something so what you need to do is you tap on this toggle right here and you tap on start now and then you tap on stitch right here and what you need to do now is you tap on this plus icon and then every time you scroll through to where you feel like you want you tap on the plus icon and then you scroll again you tap on it for all the pages you feel like you want and that is basically very cool so after you are done and then you feel okay with whatever you have screenshotted so far you tap on this sign right here and then when you tap on it it's actually going to allow you to just stitch this right away so you after you are done you tap on auto stitch and it's going to do the work for you and when it's done it's going to ask you to save or do whatever you feel like you want and then you tap on save and it's going to be saved in your gallery so now you can just go to your gallery and then view it and that is pretty much very cool so i'll just view it from here and then you can see the screenshots right away and you can scroll through to the end to where you feel like you screenshot it to and that is pretty much very cool so this is one of the nifty apps i think you guys should try in case maybe you are finding yourself wanting trying to get a long screenshot on your phone this app is here to help you and let's check out the next application so the next app on the list is called wi-fi ar so this is one of the applications i think i really like how the creator or the developer did with this application right here so when you open the app this is how the interface of the app looks like and this app allows you to just get the location or the strong wi-fi connection or internet connection in your room being it wi-fi or using your mobile data you're going to be able to just scan around and then know the spot which is going to give you the right internet connection so when you check out right here you can see we have wi-fi and you can turn on to 5g or lte and that is going to help you scan using your mobile data you tap on wi-fi it's going to scan the connection or the area which you are going to get a very strong wi-fi in your room or anywhere in your house so after you are done you tap on the stats and then it's going to ask you to just take the phone around so you can check out this map right here and then wherever you move you can see it right away so whilst you move it's going to show you the signal right here and then show you the strength of the network you are connected to and that is pretty much very cool you can even check the pings for the gamers in case maybe you want to see the pings this is actually going to show you the ping which is lower and then you can just sit at one corner and then play your game as well as you have a lower ping in order to just catch up with your partners you're actually playing the game with this is actually for online gamers and that is pretty much very cool so this is one of the nifty applications in case you like it to just give it a thumbs up and also comment below and let's check out the next application so the next app in line two is called shortcut maker so shortcut maker is one of the apps i think i really like so far too so with this shortcut maker it allows you to create shortcuts on your home screen and then you can just tap directly and then send it to where you feel like you want to go on your phone and i think that is very good of this developer because a lot of times maybe you might feel you have some settings or parts you go on your phone very more often and then you can feel maybe getting a shortcut is actually going to help you to just get a one tap and then you are gone so with this one you can create shortcuts for apps and basically you can just do that directly after just downloading the app so i think that is not really important but the one i feel i really like is maybe trying to just get an in link or trying to get a website right here you put in the shortcut name if you like you want and then you put in the website probably you copy the website from somewhere and then you put it right here you save it and then you, you're gonna get a one tap and that is basically very cool so let's check out this scenario right here let's say i want to put apple.com right here i tap on it and then i go to this application i tap on app and then I paste the website right here and then I save on my home screen and then after I'm done it's gonna give me this page right here I create a shortcut and I'm gonna to add to home and I'm gonna get it right here so with one click when I go to my home page I tap on it like this it's actually gonna take me to Apple and that is pretty much very cool maybe you want to try another thing let's say a setting or something you go to this side and then maybe you want to just get to your battery directly or maybe your screen directly your display directly you tap on this section and then you create the shortcut on your home screen and once the shortcut is created with a single click you're gonna to go to your display menu and that is basically very cool so this is one of the applications i think the developer did very great trying to create it and if this was helpful just give it a thumbs up and then you can check out this video right here in case you missed my previous apps and that is pretty much very cool don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new here and without further ado i'm gonna catch you in the next video peace